Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video I'm going to be configuring EIGRP summarization, and also we're going to take a look at EIGRP leak maps and how you can use them uh, one way in EIGRP. I'm also going to be showing you guys how to inject a default route into the EIGRP domain using um, e the IP summary ad address command. Okay, so right now all of our routers are have been started. Um, I have four loopbacks right now on router one, loopback zero through three, and uh, which R1 is going to be like our hub, and R2 and R3 are going to be our spoke routers. Um, router two uh, doesn't have any connections other than the serial link to router one, and then router uh, three ha is the same. It's got a frame relay set up between router 1 and router 3. They're running, uh, what we're going to configure them is to be running frame relay point-to-point uh, -point sub interfaces. And I'm going to show you um, how to how to uh, configure a, an EIGRP uh, a leak map with EIGRP. And maybe some of, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, overcome some of the problems you might see uh, trying to configure a leap map on a point-to-point -point sub interface. So we'll go ahead and get the routers up and going here. We got router one. Router two and here we're going to console into router three. Okay, now that we're into all the routers, what we'll what I'll do here is uh, on router one, just see what we got here. Okay, looks like we need to do our IP addressing and everything. So on router one. Uh, the serial 00 is connected to router 2, so we'll get that configured first. What I'll do here is just go uh, 000. IP address is going to be 172.16.12.1. And we'll just make those, uh, let's see here. Uh, we'll just make those slash 24s do a no shut. And over here just so we don't confuse ourselves we'll change the slash 30 to a slash 24 on both of these links okay back to router 1 um, let's go to router 2 now and Let's see, on router 2, I believe it's interface 000 is connected to router 1. So we'll do IP 172.16.12.2. We'll do a no shut. And then what we're going to do here real fast, we're just going to configure EIGRP on the, the, uh, the spokes first. Well, in this case, we'll do it on uh, router 2. So we'll do router EIGRP process 1. Then we'll, we're going to be, uh, we want to put in no auto summary. That way we don't summarize it, the uh, classful network boundary ranges. Um, also, what we're going to do here is, so what we want to do now is put in the network command, which will advertise, you know, uh, what we're going to do here is put in uh, our serial, in, uh, serial zero zero interface into our network statement. That way we're going to be, uh, that's, that's how we're configuring EIGRP to run across that link. We're just going to do that exclusively. So we're going to use the all zero mask. So that'll define that as a host mask pretty much. And it'll only try to send out, you know, uh, EIGRP uh, multicasts out uh, that, the interface with that IP address, which is serial zero zero. Okay, now we'll go back to router one. We'll do the same thing. We'll configure EIGRP 
process one, we're going to use the network statement here. I'm sorry, first, always put in no auto summary first, and then we're going to do network 172.16.12.1 with all zeros, and show IP EIGRP neighbors. And as you can see here, we have formed a neighbor adjacency with router 2, which is 12.2. And okay, so now what we want to do is look at our link to router 3. And what I'm going to show you guys here when we summarize is that you can run into some problems trying to, you know, uh, use a leak map with if you're running you know uh, point to point sub interfaces so what we're going to do here is configure router one just like we would for point to point sub interface to router three so our connection to uh, the frame is interface serial zero one we're going to specify frame relay encapsulation first then we're going to go into the sub interface. We're just going to name it one to three. One, or I'm sorry, one three. And we're going to do point to point. I'm sorry. Let's see. Zero one. Then under here, we just do our IP address real fast here, 172.16.13.1, slash 24, subnet mask, and then we're going to use our frame relay command to specify, you know, the del C to use frame relay. We're going to be using interface del C will be 103. And before we exit here, I guess we'll we can pop on to router 3, what we'll do is we'll go and we'll specify to send EIGRP uh, hellos out 172.16.13.1 Okay, now if we go to router 3, we'll configure router 3 which should be using serial 00, zero. we'll specify encapsulation frame relay then we'll go under the 3.1, do that as a point to point interface. IP address is 172.16.13.3, and that's going to be a slash 24. And then the del C to use to reach router 1, we're using frame relay interface del C 3 to 1. And then before we quit here, we want to do a no shut on the interface. Let's make sure we did that here on router 1. Show IP interface brief. As you can see here, it's still down, 0, 1. So we'll go serial 0, 1 and do a no shut. Okay, now if we do a show frame relay map on router 1, that it's been deleted but I don't think that's right let's go to router 3 to show frame relay map all right let's see 